It's tail. Oh. Guess I'm gonna have to keep the door closed from now on because you're a wild child. You're a wild child. Look at this girl. My Tilly Vanilli. She's looking so good. Mwah. She's crazy. She's missing her doggy friend today because uh, she came in with me today, but I had to drop my car off at the shop and had to use the old man's car. The dog can't go in his car. And she's like, where's my dog? I don't like being lonely. I don't like being lonely. Crazy girl. Crazy girl, Tilly. Tilly will be available in a few weeks. She, uh, still needs to be spayed and when she gets spayed she's gonna have some laser surgery done on her eye because she's got some lashes that poke her eye. Tilly, you're crazy! You're crazy, Till! Oh my goodness! She, <laughs> she's really angry that Buddy's not here today. You know what? We're gonna have to just put you in there for a minute. There, have a bite to eat. Go pee pee. I'll be back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Tilly, you crazy. All right. Woo. Coming to you live this morning <laughs> from Anne Arundel County Animal Care and Control. We're starting with the craziness that is my Tilly Bean. Okay. Here is our doggy slideshow to show you the dogs that we currently have at the shelter if you're missing a pet or if you're looking for a new pet maybe add to your family currently all adoptions are free so this is kobe about three years old came in as a stray if anybody recognizes kobe or would like to put an application in on him we've got leika female about two years old she came in with bella they were owner surrenders um, she has a history of being an escape artist so if you're interested in a husky, they are escape artists. Maggie here is about 10 years old, surrendered by her owner, looking for a new home. We got Maple here, little girl, 46 pounds, owner surrender. She's really cute. I think she's leaving today after she's, uh, tomorrow after she's spayed. Um, we got Mint Chocolate Chip here. I think Mint Chocolate Chip got adopted yesterday which I'm really excited about. We got Maya, a female about seven months old, came in as a stray, if anybody recognizes Maya. We are accepting applications for her. We got Natalie here, a female about six months old, really, really cute. She's under her observation process. We're accepting applications. We've got Nellie here, a female about a year and a half, 70 pounds. She came in initially as a stray and she is looking for a home of her own. We got little Pink here, who uh, just came in as a stray. We are accepting applications, but hopefully, um, Pink came in with a sweater, so I'm sure Pink's gonna get found or reclaimed. Um, Rhonda here is in a form of quarantine foster home and doing really great. We're accepting applications for her. Scratch, about nine years old, owner surrender, 138 pounds. He's a big boy, but he's a lover. So we are accepting applications for him. Serge, um, three years old, came in as a stray. I, I have a stray brain cell that says his people came for him, but I can't remember. Silly Bean, female, about 10 months old, 40 pounds, came in as a stray, if anybody recognizes her. Sugar, female, about two years old. She was an owner surrender. She does have some dog reactivity that we're monitoring. Tank, male, about 10 years old, came in as a stray, real handsome boy. He's under observations, but we will accept applications for Tank. Tarzan, a male, about three to four years old, came in as a stray. If anybody recognizes Tarzan, he's a handsome boy but we will accept applications in the meantime. Terry, male, about four years old, came in as a stray, really cute guy. If anybody recognizes Terry, nobody came for him, so he's available for adoption. Tone Lock, about eight years old, came in as a stray, real nice boy. We are accepting applications for Tone Lock. He's ready to go. Just information about our virtual dog, gallery here and 
how to see our animals and put in adoption applications. Um, are you interested in volunteering or fostering? We're always looking for more people to add to our volunteer and foster families. And here's information about what's needed to pre-screen to adopt. I'm going to let you read that because I'm not a speed reader. And here's our color coding, orange and green. They've had their observations. They were ready for adoption directly to the public. Gray, still going through observations. Yellow, observations are done, but they're only available to our rescue partner. And currently, all pets are free because we're loaded with pets. So if anybody uh, is thinking to add to their family, now's the time to do it. Balder, about three years old, 74 pounds, came in as a stray. He's a handsome boy. If anybody recognizes him, we're accepting applications. Bandit, male, about five years old. He was an owner surrender. Um, and we are accepting applications while he goes through his observation process. Big Face, about eight plus years old, 97 pounds. He's a big boy, uh, came in as a stray, for, ready for adoption. Charlie, um, about seven years old. We do have owner information and that's a long story that we're working on. Creme Brulee, about six months old, came in as a stray, if anybody recognizes him. Frankie, Frankie was adopted and then returned because he was playing too rough with the children and the cat, but Frankie's a puppy and puppies need training. They don't come ready-made, so he's going to be a big boy, too. Franklin, about, um, about a year and a half, 60 pounds, looking for love, and we sort of started with Janet. Janet's going through observation process, came in as a stray. We're accepting applications, and Kobe, I think we started with Kobe. I'm going to go one more just in case, just in case my brain, yep, like a that's where we started. So I'm going to move on up to the cat gallery. We did have one other dog that we're receiving this morning, Serafina, who was reclaimed already by her owner today. So that was good. She ran off because of fireworks from the neighbor's house. So if you have a dog and they don't like fireworks, it's firework season. Um, and neighbors, if you're lighting off fireworks, you know, maybe be considerate of those around you and give your neighbors some warning that it's coming just in case their dog's afraid. So lots of animals are afraid of fireworks. We should all be considerate and responsible on both sides of that fence. So anyway, we got Ariana. Hi, Ariana. That's my pretty girl. She's about a year and a half. Came in as a stray. Such a pretty girl. Such a pretty girl. Looking for a new home for Ariana. Um, Zoe came in as a protective custody, but she has since been released from that. She's about eight years old, spade female. Looking for a new home. Hey, Zoe. Pretty girl. And we've got kittens. Looks like we have an application on at least one of them. We've got Rihanna, Rumpelstiltskin, and Rebecca. This is Rumpelstiltskin. And then we've got Rihanna and Rebecca here. Pretty, pretty girls. Pretty, pretty girls. And Rebecca, Torty with white. I'm just saying this is Rebecca. So she's got an application, but Rihanna back there does not. At least not per the cage sticker. Alright, we've got Jackie down here. Hey Jackie. Hey Jackie. Hi. Hi. Jackie's about six to seven years old. Pretty calico. You wanna you wanna come out and say hi? Do you come out and say hi? At least poke your head out so people can see you. Oh, come on, Kate. Why do cages have to be that way? Hi, there's a pretty girl. Hi. Hi, pretty. Yeah, well, oh, you got an old lady voice. You got an old lady voice. Yeah, what a pretty girl. 
She says, I'm scared. And she's lost. And I'm guessing somebody must be missing her. Right? If anybody recognizes her. The age here is guessed, but listening to that voice, I'm thinking maybe we underestimated her age. She might be closer to 10. Hi, pretty girl. Yeah, hi, pretty girl. But anyway, there's Jackie, if anybody recognizes her. We've got Loki here. Loki who is an owner surrender, and we have an application for Loki. What a lucky boy. Hey, Loki. Good job, dude. Good job. Loki just moved up on Saturday. So we're real happy that you already have an application. That's wonderful. He's a handsome boy, so what's not to like? We've got Drella here. Drella's one to two years old. She's a scared baby. Hi. Hi. You were hanging out in your hidey hut, but you're coming out to say hello this morning. What a pretty girl. She says, oh, she says the work next door has kind of got scary sounds. Yeah, pretty girl. Did I miss anybody on that run? I don't think so. And we had a lot of adoptions Saturday um, and Sunday, the, the two days put together. So we've got Priscilla here who originally came in as protective custody, but she is now available. She's about eight years old. Hey, Priscilla. Pretty torty. She's been spayed. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, it has a pretty face. She's a fluffer. You're a fluffer, Priscilla. What a pretty baby. And then we have Ms. Mama Cat here. About eight years old. Spayed female. Hey, Ms. Mama. Hey, Ms. Mama. You a house panther. Yeah, but look at that round face to go with those little round eyes. What a pretty girl. Pretty, pretty girl. Oh, Miss Mama. She's like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? I know. It's scary. You're going to be fine. Some of, the, some of the noises in here can be very scary. I'm going to show you the board here. We got Harley and Pooh still in foster. I think they've been in foster at least a year now. Um, they were seven when they came in, which makes them eight now. They're altered. We got Harley on this side who is diabetic and on insulin twice a day with special food. And there's Pooh. Pooh is, is a special guy because he has black hairs peppered in through his coat, which means he's got an extra X chromosome, which is really cool because you don't see that on male cats very often. But they are a bonded pair and they are very, very, very sweet. And look, look, Tippy. Tippy, we've had a really long time. She was the last of a house full of cats. She got adopted yesterday. Woohoo! Very, very happy for Tippy. Very happy for Tippy. Let you go home. We, we do have a lot of other cats in foster care, but my slideshow is not running at the moment. And I'm not tech savvy enough to know how to turn it on. So I apologize for that. But they are listed on our website if you're curious, and it does note on there that they are in foster care. Um, so they can be seen. Their pictures are up there. All right. We got little Tofu here. Tofu has an application on him. Um, but we're waiting for him to feel a little better before him going home. And we've got Vader here. Oh, Vader. He's just not happy about being here. But I did come in on Friday and was able to make friends with Vader. I know, you scared boy. You know what? I'm, I'm going to do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. Don't be mean. Yeah, I know. I know. Come on, we made friends. Come on. You were giving me cheeky rubs. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. There we go. There we go. He's so scared. I know. I know, Vader. I know. It's 
so scary. Yeah. Ah. I know. It's so scary. My boy. My boy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Hims wants to be a lover. Hims really does. Hims is so scared. I chew. That's my boy. That's my boy. See? This is how we find you a home. You gotta show everybody what a nice boy you really are. And stop that hissing. That hissing's just a defense mechanism, though. Yeah. We gotta get you in a better cage, too. This one's kind of hard to reach. I'm tall, so I can reach, but... There we go. All right, dude. All right, dude, I gotta move on to other kitties. Okay, sorry about the noisy cage. All right, so we have Dante here, who's got a wound of unknown origin. Hey, Dante. He came in as a stray, as an intact male. I can't go in after him. I can just, I can just barely see his, his beans. Look, we got beans sort of. And we got Maverick here who's talking to me. He came in with a wound of unknown origin. He's about two years old. In tag now you can see that boo-boo he's got going on underneath there. So we have to quarantine him. We got Ryan here. Ryan is a very confused boy. He wants to be sweet, but uh, he got himself a 10-day quarantine for biting one of our volunteers. I don't think it was a bad bite, but it was a, a surprise bite. And we've got Linda here, who has been unfortunately unpredictable. I know, you want to be a nice girl. You want to be a nice girl. Pretty, pretty girl. Salem up top. Salem I was able to make friends with on Friday too. He's been very scared. He came in with Sabrina and he's not been a very friendly, affectionate boy, but I'm going to take a moment if you'll come out and see me to show you what a nice boy he is. Hey Salem! Hey baby! Hey, you want to come out? He's a house panther. And he's a very handsome boy, and he does do little biscuit dances. Hey, Salem. You want to come out? Huh? Hey. You want to come out? Come on out, baby. Come on, show everybody what a handsome boy you are. Hey, Salem. Come on, sweetness. You're not going to cooperate? You're going to think about it? Oh, there we go. Hi. Hi, you remember me. Hi, you remember me, right? That's my boy. That's my boy. Come say hello. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you look like a turtle. Are you a turtle? Is that your, your shell? Or are you a snail carrying your house around on your back? He was so trilly and talkative on Friday. Come on, baby. There we go. There's my boy. There's my boy. He's so scared. But he really is a lovely, lovely house panther. Oh, oh, he comes sliding out of that like a sausage out of its skin. Yeah, that's my boy. Gotta find Salem at home. He's really a nice boy. She's very, very scared in here. He came in with some thinning fur that we think is attributed to fleas. Um, but we've since treated him. Hi. So his fur's grown back. And it's entirely possible that he's doing a little bit of stress licking there because when they're in here and they're really stressed out, sometimes they do that. You see, see he's doing the, oh, he's drooling and he's doing the biscuit dance. Yeah, and look at his little white toe. My little white toe, it's so cute. 
you handsome boy. I see you drooling. I see you drooling. Drool bucket. You drool bucket. He says, I'm just so happy somebody's talking to me. I'm just so happy somebody's talking to me. Oh, you handsome boy. You handsome boy. So this is Salem. Salem, honey, I'm gonna have to let you go. I just wanted to show everybody what a nice boy you are. So maybe someone could come and give you a home. Love nibbles. A little love nibble there. Come on, give me a little nibbles. Come on, little nibbles. Oh, he's so handsome. He's so handsome. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. You're a handsome boy. No, I'm covered in slobber. Alright, I'll come back and say hi. I know, see you long. He says, wait, wait, don't, don't go. You're such a lovely boy. You're such a lovely boy. Yes, you are. All right, I gotta disinfect now. I gotta disinfect. I've got Salem hand. We've got Venus down here. Venus is surrender. She's came in with Serena and Smokey. She's been a little temperamental. I tried making friends with her on Friday too. And, and she was, kind of evasive. She really didn't want me to mess with her. But, you know, she wasn't mean about it. And that's a start. She just said, don't touch me, but she didn't hiss or growl or do anything. So we'll see. You've got Briscoe here. Super, super scared. Hey, Briscoe. And he's hiding. I don't know. Black and white, and about eight months old. Let's see if I can see him in here. He's an intact male. He handsome. And yeah, that's about as good as he gets. He's not going to cooperate. Dark cat in a dark box. And uh, Rihanna. Yeah, Rihanna scratched her finder. I think when they were stuffing in the box. Pretty girl. Oh, she says, I'm a nice kitty. I'm a nice kitty. No. I'm a nice kitty. So she's on a 10 day quarantine, which, when's your quarantine up? Um, the 1st of July? Yeah. And, um, back to you. We've got Lily here. Lily's a surrender. She's a dilute torty. She's very, very gray for a dilute torty, but if you look very closely, she's got orange peppered in for that creamy buff color. Hey, pretty girl. Hi, hi. Did you bite somebody on the way in? Well, are you under a 10 day quarantine now? And that'll be up on the, well, today. Today's the 27th, so. Yeah, that's good. Hey, Walter, dude, whose quarantine is up the 1st of July. Hey, Walter, how's it going? He was so excited when I was in here Friday. He was rubbing at the front of the cage and, and meowing at me and stuff. But Walter has an application on him, which I'm really excited about. We've got Johnny here, about six years old with a wound of unknown origin on top of his face being all beat up with his face is almost healed up now so I'm happy about that his quarantine doesn't end until the end of September we've got Violet here Violet is in heat she's on the books to be spayed but in the meantime she is wild and crazy but she's under four month quarantine which ends September 12th this potato um, is 12 years old. She's a spade female. She's an utter surrender. And she's an absolute doll baby. Hey, Princess Potato. She is such a lovely, lovely cat. Um, since she hasn't been adopted yet, we do have a foster coming to get her out of the cage tomorrow and into a home setting, which I'm sure she'll do so much better in. 
that sitting in a cage for a big girl who needs her exercise <laughs> is not the optimal environment. Now, Princess Potato, we're going to get you out where you can walk around and stretch those hammies. Uh, she says, I'm too tired to stretch hammies. I'm too tired for hammy stretches. Her, her given name is Dumpster, but we just couldn't call her that because she's just so beautiful and she's a princess and she's a big potato. Yes, you're beautiful. She's a lovely girl. And looking for a home. I would love to not send her to foster if she can find a home, but you know. Any ship in a storm. Okay, and then we'll take you back to receiving her off the Show you the kitties back there. And then we have the one little dog. Which came in over the weekend. Pink. Oh, Pink's making a mess. Hey, Pink. Oh, uh, whatever she found it. Then Bernie. This is Pink. Pink's lost. Does anybody recognize Pink? She was found in the Glen Burnie area wearing her cute little pink sweater. That's why we're calling her Pink. If anybody recognizes her, she'd like to go home. Give us a call um, at 410-222-3939. That goes into our dispatch and they can page for somebody. And we've got a little kitty here that was just surrendered by her owner. Othello. Othello. Hmm. Interesting name for a girl. Yeah. Um. Okay. This is shrimp. Shrimp's about nine weeks old. Shrimp is scared. And he needs to learn some potty behaviors. And we've got Millie here. Millie came in as a stray. She looks like she's feeling a little under the weather. We got her back here keeping an eye on her. Hey, Mill. Hey. You're a pretty girl. She's about 10 months old. Wow, Logan. Logan has been very feisty. Yeah. You've been very feisty, Logan. I heard you were trying to bite my crew over the weekend. What's up with that, huh? You can't be trying to bite people. That's not cool. <coughs> no, it's not. I know you're scared. <coughs> I know. <coughs> and we've got Hydra here, who's an adult black cat. We're not sure of the gender yet. And Hydra is hiding in the Heidi Hut, which means it's a black cat and a dark box, and all you're going to see is black. So we've got Hot Italian Sausage here, who was so, so, so angry when she came in. She's got a microchip that's a nano chip, and it's not registered, and it goes nowhere. So don't waste time getting a chip if you're not going to register it somewhere. I'm just saying, because it makes it useless. If, especially these nano chips, and you know, so many companies are getting in the chip business. If you don't register it, they're completely untraceable. And it's, and it's like, why bother? Because it's like putting a blank tag on your animal. Why bother? The poor hot Italian sausage here, who was very angry when she first came in and decided that she really wants to be a nice kitty. <laughs> no nibbles, no nibbles. It has a chip that goes nowhere, so we can't trace it. I mean, literally, it's not registered. It's, there's, there's not even anybody we can call. It's that bad. So very frustrating. So if anybody recognizes hot Italian sausage with her chip that might as well not be there because it is useless without being registered, she would like to go back home. She's the kind of cat that behaved badly because she's never been out of the house. And hmm, she gets out and she ends up here, well, which always makes me look at 
who turned her in and if they were being honest or not, because sadly we do get fibbed at an awful lot. Yeah. I don't know why. It certainly doesn't help you. It doesn't help us. It doesn't help anybody. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, done with my soapbox. We got Irving here. Another black kitty, thirty year old. Oh, his his box is sideways, so I might be able to see. Might be able to see him. Hey, Irving. Oh well. There we go. There we go. We can see him a little bit. Black kitty in a black box, but hey, you can see his eyes at least. If anybody's missing a black cat, male intact. Maybe Irving's your cat. Guys, up to our side rooms. Excuse me. Uh, we've got Tanya here, who came in initially as protective custody, but has been released from that. So we're working on socializing now. Very scared young lady. Mew Mew, that kitty, that year old little girl. We've since spayed her. She's been very scared and hiding. She's she's hiding in the darkness there. You can see one eye blinking. We've got Tito here who has been released from his protective custody hold and uh, is scared and hiding. I'm, I'm gonna... <laughs> close the door here because I'm letting Archie out. Archie is a super scared little cat who really um, lashed out. His quarantine finished. Hey Archie. How's it going dude? Come say hi. He's such a chirpy boy. Hey Arch. Hey, come here. That's my boy. He does not like being in a cage and uh, he gets very defensive in the cage. But I found if you let him out and let him stretch his hammies and let him explore a little bit, he's much better. Hey Archie. You can't do this too much. I know your, your neighbors aren't there anymore. They got moved. Your neighbors got moved. That kitty didn't like you much anyway. She was hissing at him on Friday. She's like, don't look at me. Come here, Archie, come on. Yeah, she just got moved. Come on. Archie. Hey, handsome boy. Come here, come on. Come on. little voice and trills. It's just so cute. Come on, Archie. Come on, I got, I got some other kitties to show. I just wanted everybody to see what a cute boy you're capable of being. He's really curious about other cats. Archie, what are you doing, baby? No, she's not in there. She's in the cat room now. Come on, Arch. I just want you to come back in. He was really good about going back in on his own Friday. Oh, we got a toy. We got a toy. We got a toy. Mario! 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 Come on. He said no. <laughs> Come on. 
Meow. 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 Chirpy, chirpy. Come on. Come on, Archie. Am I going to have to come back and get you after you've stretched your legs sufficiently? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. He says, I really don't want to go back in. I want to stretch my legs some more. Oh, what would you smell? You smell something? Come on, Archie. Work with me, dude. Come on. You see? <laughs> Look at you, prairie doggin. Look at you, prairie doggin. What's going on, dude? Hmm? What's going on, dude? He says, I'm so bored. I really want to explore. All right, I'm going to let you explore for a few minutes. I'll come back and put you away in a minute. Put your air card on the door so that they know. There. All right. So we have some kitties in here that all came from the same home, and they were all surrendered. Basically, somebody took in a female cat that was pregnant, and she had babies. And then the babies had babies, and the babies had babies, and basically they just didn't get help in time, and things got out of hand. So there's a lot of resources out there for spaying and neutering, whether it be free or low cost. If you've got a pregnant animal, get help. Just saying. So we got Mortimer here. He's about two years old. Hey Mortimer. Hi handsome. This is I'm scared. And we got Blake. Blake's got 11 months. We got Ginger Boy here. There's Blake. And then we've got Lisa. She's 20, about two years old. Lisa, hi pretty girl. They're all really scared. Probably not enough socialization going on there. We've got Queenie. She's hiding too. She's about a year old. Hi, Queenie. Oh, look at those pretty blue eyes. And she's got little peach, peach on her face. Pretty calico. Oh, come on, Cage. There we go. Uh, let's see. We've got. Her Simon, who is mama to four little babies. And I definitely see four little babies. The babies are only about four weeks old, but they're so cute. Look at the cuteness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the cute. Ah. Um, I think these guys are going to foster today around noon. I'm pretty sure these are the ones I, I would I would guess that uh, these are the ones that are going to foster today. As I was told the mama and babies are going to foster and it's the only mama and babies that have uh, said all right. And that's everybody in here. I'm gonna take you by our office kitties and then our bunnies and guinea pigs. And that'll wrap things up for today. Just a reminder, our cat, cat 
hungaries open, if you're interested in coming in and looking at the animals we have here. If you see any on the video or on the website that say they're in foster or anything like that, or they're kept in other rooms, um, just ask at the front counter and uh, somebody can set you up with meeting them. This is Bowser here. Bowser, I know, I was in late this morning and your office mommy's not here and, and he wants breakfast. I will, I will come bring you breakfast as soon as I'm done this, okay? And then we got, we got Highway here. Highway, nine to 10 weeks old. Highway was very scared. Very scared, little bean. I know, I'll bring you breakfast. These, these little house panthers. Highway looks like a mini me of Bowser. I know, Bowel. I know, Bowel. I'll bring you breakfast, I promise. You give me five, five minutes, I'll bring you breakfast. Maybe 10, maybe 10. I'm, I'm a little tired, okay. challenged. There's a gentleman in a in a what? We got Miss Paws here. Miss Paws is 10 years old. She's a spade female. She's an absolute love bug. Miss Paws is looking for an adult home. She's such a pretty girl. And then we got Missy Lou here. Where are you hanging, Missy Lou? Where are you hanging, Missy Lou? Oh, she's back here. Missy Lou is 11 years old. She's a spade female and she is the queen of her environment. She likes to rule the roost and does help her office mate with paperwork, etc. Yeah, she has been known to help count the money. Yeah, in the banks. Right, Missy Lou. Missy Lou needs an adult only home and she needs to be the only pet because she has never lived with other pets and she doesn't want to. Um, she has never been around kids and I wouldn't recommend her around kids. She, she's not a patient girl, um, but she is absolutely loving and affectionate when she bonds with her human and she's very sweet. And we love her. Right, Missy Lou? All right. So there's the last kitty. And we've got critters. Critters, critters, critters. We've got Bellatrix and Sirius over here. Little boy and little girl. Little girl's the gray one. And Sirius is the black boy. Cute little pair. And we've got little potatoes here. Cocoa and pumpkin. Somebody was hungry. They're a bonded pair. Coco and pumpkin, you can just see. See pumpkin down at the end there. They're so cute. They're two years old. And pumpkin is a wheat rex. <laughs> a wheat a wheat rex? I don't know what that means. <laughs> but look at the hairdo. Look at that hairdo. That hairdo is awesome. <laughs> All right, we've got one little white rat here. Who is about six to seven months old. For our guest, he came in as a stray. Let's see if he'll come out and say hello. For a treat. Hey, little handsome dude. He's just a, a white rat. Where, where are you hiding? Oh. Yeah, he is totally hiding. Oh well, I'm gonna leave a treat here for him to get. And a couple more there. Snackies. So for rat, rat people out there, he's a cute little boy. He's just hiding. Um, we don't charge a fee to adopt rats, and our vet will spay them or spay and neuter them. We got Snowflake and Spot here. Another bonded pair of piggies or potatoes. This is Snowflake. And there's Spot. And we got Cruella de Vil here. She's also a surrender. I think she was surrendered from the same place as Snowflake and Spot. I may be wrong. 
anyway. There's Cruella. You pretty girl. Cute little potato. Little spudlings. I hear somebody trilling over here. And then we have our little trio, the three sisters, the three graces. I don't know why their cards are the backwards. But we've got Tony and Twyla and Tina. Tony, Twyla, and Tina are little triplets that do everything together. They came in with Tristan. Tristan went to Foster. He was their brother. But the three girls, they've got a, a nice big enclosure here where they love to run around and be cute little bunnies. They like it when I come in here because I typically share my apple with them. They are the cutest little girls that do everything together. Absolutely darling. And they are the last critters I have to show you today. So I'm going to go and put Archie away <laughs> and, and feed Bowser because he's hungry. And no doubt my little Tilly's in the office squeaming because she doesn't have her doggy playmate today. So thank you all for watching. Um, I would like to ask that you please share the video with your friends because the more people see them, the more homes we can find, the more animals we can reunite with their previous owners. Um, please be responsible with your pets. And if you have to surrender, please be honest about it. It's, you know, it, it doesn't help anybody. We don't judge. We, we understand stuff happens and, uh, and bunnies reproduce. <laughs> they all do. Um, we just want to get them the help that they need. And the more information that's factual that we can get, the better we can help the animals. So be responsible with your pets, be kind to each other. Thank you for watching and you all have a wonderful day.